everybody welcome back to my channel this is Laura for today's recipe I am going to show you how to make a pecan brittle yes not a peanut brittle a pecan brittle this candy is so delicious I will leave the recipe and all the ingredients I use down in the description box so take a look there this recipe does take a little bit of effort on your part but believe me it will be all worth it in the long run. It is a great candy to give for Christmas giving or for swapping for the neighbors, for anybody that it's in your life. I know they would appreciate it. If you are new here, welcome. I sure hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and they will notify you every time I upload a video. If you are a regular here, thanks for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. Okay guys, we're going to jump on into the video. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below and I will get back with you. And if you're enjoying the content, don't forget, big thumbs up really helps out my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to start the recipe by adding our sugar. Now as you can see, I have my candy thermometer there. I'm going to add my water and I'm going to add the corn syrup. and the salt. We're going to stir this and continue to stir it occasionally until the temperature reads 280 degrees. Now if you don't have a candy thermometer, I really would recommend that you get one. It doesn't have to be one this fancy. I'm going to show you another one that I have. It's this one here. I will link these two below for you. It's this one here and it works like that. So either one of these will work fine. You really need it because it will make your life a lot easier. We're going to put this on medium to high heat until it reaches 280 degrees. Do not leave the room. Don't let this bubble over. This is very hot. I would recommend getting the little kids out of the kitchen because if something happens, this is very, very hot. Okay, and you need to also have all your other ingredients ready to go for this recipe because once it hits that 280 degrees, it starts to cook really fast after that. So you really want to have everything ready, your cookie sheets with your parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you need to butter them and have them ready on your counter because this moves real quick after that 280. Okay, we're just going to wait. I will bring you back periodically and show you how this reaches the temperature and how the bubbles look and all that. So we'll be right back. Okay, this just now started to bubble or started to boil, so you just need to keep your eye on it. We want to get this to the hard crack stage. That's going to be over 300 degrees. The first part of the cooking goes by fast. I don't know if I said that earlier, but when the water starts cooking out of this recipe, it cooks pretty fast. Once the water cooks out of the recipe, it cooks hot. So you need to remember that, that once the water cooks out, this is going to be extremely, extremely hot and you're going to hit your temperature pretty quick. This will change to an amber color as it gets closer to the temperature we're looking for. I just wanted to show you how the bubbles look at first. Okay, we have hit 225 degrees. You can notice that the syrup is starting to thicken a little bit and the color of the syrup is turning real light amber color, very, very light. It's got a very slight change to the color. Okay, so we're just gonna keep stirring and watching that thermometer. Okay, we're just a couple of degrees before the 280, so we're going to give this a good stir. As soon as it hits the 280, we're going to add in our butter and our pecans and our peanut butter. And then it's going to continue to cook. See how it's changed colors? Okay, we're at 280. Now add in our pecans. Going to add in our butter and our peanut butter. We're just going to keep stirring this until we get to the 300 mark. This is going to bubble. Okay, we're going to continue to stir this. As you can see now, it looks like, like pralines almost. And I took out the big thermometer and I'm going to show you how to use the little one so you can be familiar with both. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. at the 300 so we have to keep an eye on that kind of stuck at the 280 I'll check it again in just a couple of minutes okay we're almost at 300 
almost there okay it's at 300 I'm gonna give it a good stir okay we're gonna shut off the heat and we're gonna add the vanilla and it's gonna bubble so you gotta mix it vigorously Okay, after this we're going to add in our baking soda and that's when we really have to give it a good stir so hold on to your pot really good and there we go and this is going to foam up a little bit See how it changes color completely? Okay, I'm going to bring the pans over here so we can transfer this. Okay, you just have to be very careful. Very carefully spread it out to the edges. Don't get off the parchment paper because then you'll have a really hard time getting this candy up. Now we're going to put this on a cooling rack and we're going to let this cool for about an hour before you're going to be able to break it at least an hour maybe a little bit longer that's what it looks like and it's very very piping hot so you need to be very careful so i will be back in about an hour and let you sh and show you how it hardens up so this is going on a cookie rack to cool Alrighty, here is the brittle. After it's been sitting for about an hour, as you can see, we've already gotten into it. But this is just so good. I normally just take the corners like this and break it like that. You can put it in little dishes like this. Or you can take a mallet and just crack it. Just like that start putting it into your serving dish or into your containers if you're gonna give this away this is so good break this one a little bit and there you go look at that doesn't that look delicious it's very delicious I've already had some and I'm gonna have me another piece right now I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but let me tell you, this candy is so good. It's so rich and buttery. The pecans are just perfect in this. Look at that, how beautiful that looks. You can wrap them up in, in your candy paper if you want to, but I think just kind of like this in a little container is probably best. Just fill it up, have it on the table or on your dessert table. I think that would be great. Okay, guys, let's give it a taste. All right, guys, here is the candy. We are all done. I showed you how I broke it up. I'm going to take a bite out of this. Even though I already did, I have to admit, did a little cheating. Mmm. Mmm. So good, so, so good. This candy is so good. Out of all the recipes that I show you for this holiday season, give this one a try. You will not regret it. It is so delicious, so buttery, crunchy. The pecans are nice and, oh, they're just so delicious. If you want to impress somebody, give them a, give them a big hunk of that. Look at that. I know you can see that it's delicious. I wish I could, you could taste this right now. Okay guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget those thumbs up really help out my channel. Go follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Share with family and friends. I will see you on the next one. Bye!